In the experiment, the relation between tension, wavelength, and frequency for standing waves in a stretched nylon wire is examined. One end of a thin nylon wire, a few meters in length, is fastened to a vibrator. The other end passes over a pulley where tension is applied to the wire by hanging masses on it. The vibrator is a simple electromagnet operated on alternating current and vibrating at twice the frequency of the line voltage supply. In general, the wire vibrates in such a way that the wire bounces around with no definite pattern. However, if the length of the vibrating part of the wire is properly adjusted, then resonance will occur and a standing wave will form. At resonance, the length of the vibrating part of the wire equals an integer times half the wavelength of the wave on the wire. Rest your hand on the bench and reach up and pinch the wire. Don't slide your fingers on wire. Notice that when the wire is at resonance, there are points along the wire that have very little motion. These points are called nodes and the distance between consecutive nodes is half the wavelength of the wave on the wire. By establishing resonance in the wire by positioning your fingers, measuring the distance from your fingers to the vibrator and counting the number of half wavelength segments, you can determine the wavelength of the wave on the string. When finding resonance, it is important that you pinch the wire lightly and not pull or push on the wire so that you don't change the tension. In the actual experiment, you will experimentally determine the wavelengths for different tensions by changing the mass hanging from the end of the wire and for different frequencies by changing the orientation of the vibrator. The wave frequency is 120 Hz when the vibrating plate is moving perpendicularly to the wire and the wave frequency is 60 Hz when the vibrating plate is moving along the direction of the wire.